Well, hello, Carlos. This is your friend Jim from South Central PA. Out in the middle of a walk with the lovely Miss Reagan, a.k.a. the Wonder Pooch. We are by a house I refer to as the Farmhouse on Breakfast Meat Boulevard. And we are walking back home at this point. It's a lovely morning here in, uh, in PA. Cloudless skies. We've got a big high pressure over our, our heads again today. I think we're going for a, uh, a high in the, the mid-70s today. So like 74, 75, somewhere in there. Um, but the real weather news is that this morning it was 47 degrees. So rather chilly for this time of year. In fact, I was underneath the uh, trees on the way out. Could actually see my breath as I exhaled. So I don't remember the last time that I was able to do that, but uh, it definitely wasn't in August, July, June, or uh, or May. So it was probably probably all the way back at least in April, the last time I was able to do that. So pretty chilly. You got something there, girl? This, of course, is our, our dog walk, so we may have to make a couple of stops here and there, but if you own a dog, you get it. <laughs> and if you don't, well, too bad. Dogs are cool. So, anyway, since you were nice enough to send me a submission uh, at the end of last week, I figure I will return the favor and send you one so we can continue our intercontinental or maybe even cross-continental discussion via podcast submission. So, there you go. Um, wasn't expecting your submission to show up in uh, an episode that has uh, the name The Underwear Tree, <laughs> since your submission had nothing to do with that, but that's one of the fun things with Recording on the fly, a.k.a. guerrilla podcasting. Every You never know what's going to happen. You know, it's it's a very Forrest Gump kind of a box of chocolates thing, right? You never know what you're going to get. And all of a sudden, you're just out there for a walk, and you look up and go, is that underwear on that tree? And your name just showed up for that, for that podcast. So kind of the way it works sometimes. But... Uh, Let's see. Anything else of note this week? Well, the big thing of note this week out here, of course, is we have folks arriving probably on Friday. Maybe even on Thursday. But definitely on Friday. For the Bird in Hand Half Marathon. Which will be one county to the east of me. In lovely Lancaster County. Which, of course, yes, we pronounce it just like the English. We don't say Lancaster. Like an American would. No, we say Lancaster. Because it was named by the British. So we just kind of kept that. Um, <clears throat> so they're coming this weekend. And we are definitely going to be 8 to 10 degrees cooler uh, than we normally should be. We should normally be into the, uh, into the low 80s this time of year. So, you know, 82, 83, what we should be at. But... You know, we're topping out at like 74, 75. So definitely going to be cooler, which is good for our folks coming to run. But right now, our weather folk are saying we're going to get about a half inch of rain on Saturday. So Saturday right now looks like it may be soggy for the Bird in Hand Half Marathon. So the only good news with that forecast is that it's Wednesday. The race is Saturday, and our weather folk have had a really poor accuracy level this year. Um, they've been wrong quite a lot this year, so hopefully their record will continue for our folks coming. And, you know, either whatever rain we get will either happen before the race or after the race. And our friends will be able to get in 
13.1 on Saturday morning without getting soaked. And our friends were going to be running the 5K, which happens on Friday evening, will also be able to get in their 3.1 without getting soaked. So, best wishes for all of them. But, that's going to be the end of this recording. I'll send this off to you from South Central PA, where, uh, Oddly, my hands are slightly chilly this morning. Uh, this is uh, Jim and the lovely Miss Reagan, a.k.a. the Wonder Pooch, saying, have a pleasant day.